messenger uh, for it to be able to get, you know, uh, for it to find traction, for it to find a use case. But there's still a lot of opportunity uh, for it. So I don't, I don't, I think a lot of people are writing off Meerkat right now. But yeah, I believe that Periscope is supposed to be beautiful. One thing I really like is the idea that if you watch a stream uh, rebroadcasted, what happens is that they resync all of the comments and they look like they're coming in live. Uh, so we'll see if that's a, a, a magical experience worthy enough of pulling people away because as we've found, you can't just make a product that's a little bit better if you're going into a market that already exists. You have to build something that's exponentially better, not just linearly better. Let's see if we get enough signal to make this work. Hopefully it won't be too loud either, it's kind of loud here. Hey everybody. Welcome to the Meerkat session. Hey everybody, this is Josh Constein. I'm here at, on Meerkat TV at South by Southwest at the Pinterest barbecue, about to eat some barbecue. But for a second while I wait for this barbecue, I wanted to talk about what's going on with Meerkat. So last night, Twitter shut off uh, Meerkat's fine friend access, which means that it can no longer piggyback off of Twitter's social graph. So basically, when you join Meerkat, you automatically followed on Meerkat everyone that you followed on Twitter. Uh, and what that meant was that you could instantly get those notifications like, oh, your friend was streaming. And that was really useful and helped them jump start their social graph but now Twitter's cut off that access it's kind of a typical thing that big uh, social platforms do when they think that there's an app on them that's either competing directly with them or you know being a, a bad platform actor and so Facebook has done this to several messaging apps which it thought was just basically like piggybacking on its own social graph um, but then not really contributing anything back to the feed or giving anything back to its users it's just taking their their social graph and so now Twitter has done the same thing to meerkat so the question is what is meerkat gonna do now and so my opinion is immediately they should switch to using phone numbers uh, as their identity system. Basically ask everybody who wants, like, who wants to sign up for Meerkat now to use their phone number and then add their, uh, upload their contacts as a way for them to be able to find their friends. And then ask all existing Meerkat users to do the same. Add their phone numbers, upload their contacts, and then try to have them build a new social graph on top of that. Um, then from there, you know, obviously comments normally roll through Twitter. Um, but instead, I think what should happen is they should just, for people who have their Twitter connection or want to connect their Twitter account, they could still do that. But for people who don't have a Twitter account or sign up without one, then they can instead just use uh, comments ephemerally on top of Meerkat. So they'll come up in the comments, but they won't be syndicated to Twitter. Now, I actually think that they, there's still a lot of potential for Meerkat. I mean, at the very least, Peris Periscope hasn't launched yet. I kind of thought we were going to wake up this morning and see Periscope launch, but it didn't happen. Uh, we'll see if they actually get something out at South by Southwest. You know, it's not, people, I've heard some rumors that they're going to try to launch at Southwest, but it's kind of getting kind of late in the game considering it's already Saturday and Interactive ends Tuesday. Um, but instead, you know, there, there are a few options for Meerkat. Obviously, they've said that they want to raise money, but they're going to wait until after South by Southwest to do that. You know, I would imagine investors are salivating over this considering Twitter bought Meerkat or Twitter bought Periscope. I think obviously Facebook is looking at this space, so there's good exit potential. You know, there's also the option that, you know, if Meerkat was really like, we don't know what we're going to do next, we're not sure if this is going to work, they could sell to Facebook. But I think that that's premature. Just because Twitter's getting into the space doesn't mean that it's over. We've obviously seen what happened with Poke and Facebook trying to copy Snapchat. You can't, you can copy uh, features all you want, but you can't copy uh, community. You can't instantly jumpstart a community the same way. So now that everyone thinks that, so that, uh, that live streaming is sort of a meerkat thing and it has this critical mass of tech's elite and it's starting to get celebrities like Jared Leto onto the app, I think it would make sense for them to keep going, see if they can then fare it on their own using uh, phone numbers as their new identity system. Uh, and I'm going to let some more people who are really hungry behind me go and eat this food because I'm not going to force you to watch me eating briskets uh, at the same time as talking to you about Meerkat. Um, so we'll, we'll see what happens next. Like I said, there's a lot of exit potential. Uh, the thing is that Meerkat is still built on Twitter and you know, it, was a, it was a pretty savvy slash dick move for Twitter to pull this on them on, the, on Friday night because obviously their engineers aren't necessarily planning to be at work all weekend. But now it really has to, you know, hop to it to try to get things uh, re redone because, you know, it needs to add social integrations, it needs to add a whole new flow for adding your phone number, uh, uploading your contacts, verifying your phone number, all this stuff that it didn't have
have to do before because it was just built on top of Twitter. But I think there's a lot of potential for them to still make this work. Uh, and we're going to see what's, what happens over the next few weeks. Now, obviously, people say that Periscope is, is great. Uh, if you guys didn't get a chance to read my article yesterday, it says that Twitter con uh, officially confirms the Meerkat acquisition and here's how it actually works. Uh, so basically, the differences between Periscope and Meerkat are that with Periscope, according to multiple sources I've talked to who've used the app, you can actually record uh, streams and people can watch them later, whereas Meerkat is totally ephemeral. You can only watch streams live. Uh, on a Periscope, you can also invite small groups of people. So you can, instead of doing all your streams publicly, you can actually have uh, a small private stream where you just invite your friends, which means there's a lot of potential for it to be used for more interpersonal communication, more of it looking at, uh, you know, more of